Hey guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a cock and bull special. Now the cock and bull special is one of my favorite old fashioned variations. And really not much is known about it. I wish I had more to tell you other than that it was created at the cock and bull um, bar here in Los Angeles, California at some point in history. That's all I got for you. If anyone uh, can fill in the history for me, that would be amazing. I would love you forever and I will post it or I will maybe do a video about it, I don't know. Tell me the history and I'll let you know what I'm gonna do. All right, first thing we're gonna do, let's say like three dashes of Angostura bitters, and then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Benedictine. Yeah. It's not very good bottle placement. I'm gonna put that over here. And then three quarters of an ounce of bourbon today. I like to use 100 proof bourbon for this because there's so many liqueurs in it that the bourbon really stands out, right? The 100 proof. So three quarters an ounce of, we're using Evan Williams bonded bourbon. Half an ounce of cognac. And then, quarter ounce, if it ever wants to come out of Cointreau. And then, I'm just gonna take our big rock of ice, always use a big rock, a nice clear dense ice. I'm gonna drop it in there. I'm just gonna add it slowly, I guess, because it's pretty big. It's nice, because this drink is big enough that I don't need to, I don't need to, I uh, need to chip away at it with an ice pick or anything. Just gonna give it a nice stir. This is a really invented old fashioned style that takes its sugar from different liqueurs. Uh, and this is really pleasing and a favorite of a lot of my customers at Kohl's when I'm bartending. This is one of those ones that I introduced to a few people that sit at my bar and they love it. So you give it a nice stir. And then we're gonna garnish with an orange peel. Zest it on, rub it, and there you have it. The cock and bull special.